Hello, 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 Mzansi. Hello, world. Welcome back to Inside Legacy Farm. So, what am I doing today? I'm harvesting chilies. So, this is Serrano, you guys. It's one of the hottest chilies that you will find, and we have planted it here in Legacy Farm. So, now we're harvesting all the red ones. So, because they're ready, and then after that, I'm going to show you what do we do. We dry them. Um, and so I'm going to show you the whole setup from harvest to the drying process. All right. So um, let me start by harvesting the red ones. So you guys, so just um, a background about this space um, while I'm doing this. So we have started planting here sometime last year. And this there was just a very hard soil in this space. We didn't think that it was going to turn out so good. So this is like a third... Um, 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 type of crop that we've planted here um, and and basically we this is one of the greatest harvests that we've had so far um, another thing that we do with the chilies is that we dry it and then we make um, sauces and then also we dry it in terms of making um, dried uh, chili herb um, so you know for your home you sow um, if you have other ideas in terms of what are you doing at home with chilies, um, homemade products, um, please hit in the comment section and let us know what do you do. And also another thing is we kind of wait for all of these uh, chilies to be entirely red. So we give it a little bit of time to be entirely red before we harvest it. Um, so yeah, tell us what do you do and hit in the comment section and we can engage giving me some ideas what else to do besides sauces. Um, what other meals are you putting in your cayenne peppers and chilies in? Um, and then I, I, I will see if I can maybe try some as well. So, um, so because of it's winter, um, these are probably our last, last harvest. They're all going to be ready and we're going to remove um, and harvest um, all of them but we're gonna keep the trees um, in the soil because in spring you will have another they will actually resuscitate themselves and they'll come back to life again and that's the nice part of the region that we are in that we are able to leave these for as long as we can and then it makes the, the, the process easier the next time around you don't have to start from a seedling process so here as you can see these ones are still coming along very well um and the frost hasn't hit them and look at the size look at the size look at this size look at my hand and look at the size as you can see here it's doing very great we're gonna come back for them when they are red for now we're just gonna let them um, grow as much as they can before the trees are starting to die then okay. we've had it for a while this is actually the first bed of trees that we had as you can see the leaves have already changed the color has changed um, the, the 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 fruits are smaller than the beginning so it shows already there that it's time um, for winter um, and the trees are gonna die and then they're gonna come back again in, in spring so I'm gonna take these ones that are left over these last ones that are here the red ones You never throw anything away. You make sure that even if it's tiny, we can always process it. So nothing goes to waste, you know. Um, so here we go for now. We're going to add this with the one that we harvested yesterday. Um, and then I'm going to show you how um, we are drying. Um, and then, yeah, let me take you there right now. After you've done your harvest, you want to rinse it just to make sure that you've got the dirt out and some of the nun, the ones that are spoiled off before you dry it. So here we go, we have rinsed. Now we are going to dry, All right? And we use this as our dryers and our outdoor dryer. Um, and also we get to cover it just to make sure that nothing else gets into this um, drying, DIY drying machine of ours. So this is what we do just to make sure that it's spread out nicely. You want to make sure that this is positioned towards the sun as well. Make 
sure that it doesn't have a lot of water weight. There we go. Spread it out nicely. If any recipes at home in terms of what do you do with your cayenne or with your chilies, whether you buy it from the store or you plant it in your garden, what do you do with it um, if you're not going to use it as it is? Um, just hit us in the comment section and let us know, give us some ideas. Um, besides the sauces, what else can you do with it? Um, and winter is coming. I think, you know, having cayenne and chili is a very good option to just like keep away the flu and keep away all the other stuff that you don't need for this winter. Um, yes, yeah, so if you've loved this video, uh, just hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe so that you can get notifications whenever we put out the next video. And yes, keep gardening.